Hi everyone, my name is Miss Samantha and I am the Assistant Head of Children's Services here at Darien Library. I am so excited to introduce the Book Talking 2022 list for you. Our librarians have worked really hard over the past year reading all of the new books that have come into the library and have come up with this list of fantastic recommendations for you. We hope you will join us as part of our annual summer reading program. This year, dive under the sea with Expedition Blue Wave. Complete challenges, earn prizes, and everyone who signs up will receive a free book. This year's program runs from Monday, June 20th through Sunday, August 14th. You can participate through our website, darianlibrary.beanstack.org, or the Beanstack app on a mobile device. You can find out more information about our summer reading program at the end of this video. Personally, I love to read daring adventure stories with brave heroines, mysteries with a little bit of a twist, and of course, graphic novels with really funny characters. When you dive under the ocean with us this summer, maybe you'll see some of your favorite sea creatures. I personally love a harbor seal. What's your favorite animal? We hope to see you in the library real soon. And until then, I hope you enjoy our list of recommendations. Happy summer reading. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Carrie, one of the children's librarians at Darien Library. I love reading books that make me laugh or cry and books that teach me something new. My favorite ocean animal is a dolphin. Happy reading everyone and let's go Mets. Hi, I'm Miss Erica and I'm the Early Literacy and Outreach Coordinator. And some of my favorite books, I love to read silly picture books and historical fiction. And my favorite sea creatures, I have to pick two. I love seals and octopuses. <laughs> and I can't wait to share our books with you. This is Wind Riders Rescue on Turtle Beach by Jen Marlin. Who would have thought that a stolen ice cream cone could lead to an epic rescue mission? Well, after Sophia's cone is snatched by a seagull swooping down and grabbing it in its beak, she and her new friend Max notice that the seagull's leg gets caught in a bit of fishing wire. Now, despite the destroyed ice cream cone, Sophia and Max know that they must try to help the seagull. But it's hard to catch a seagull, so they'll first need to slow it down long enough in order to hold it to remove the wire. They finally chase the seagull onto a strange abandoned sailboat and hold it gently enough so that they can manage to free it of the wire. Once the seagull is saved, now Sophia and Max are super interested in this boat that they ended up on. But before they can start to answer questions like, whose boat might this be? The boat begins to spin and it whisks them magically away toward an even bigger mission. There are a group of baby sea turtles that are in danger, and the boat seems to know that Max and Sophia are the ones that should try to rescue them. But this seems like a much bigger rescue than the seagull. How will Sophia and Max save a whole nest of turtles? This is Wind Riders Rescue on Turtle Beach by Jen Marlin. This book is the first book in a series, and each book is all about a different animal rescue. So if you love animals and adventure, I recommend this series. Have you ever thought something was going to be totally amazing, but it then it turned out to be the worst thing ever? Well, that's what happened to Ivy Crowden when she falls down the stairs and breaks her leg during what was supposed to be the best summer ever. Now she's bored, stuck inside, and not even her best friend Teddy can cheer her up. So instead, she just sits and looks out the window and watches the summer pass her by. But when a burglary happens across the street, Ivy starts to notice mysterious things going on. Like, who is in that van? Why did her classmate get in? Who's that dog that looks just like Teddy's that supposedly died weeks ago? As Teddy and Ivy work through the clues to solve these mysteries, maybe this summer isn't the worst ever. Mystery on Magnolia Circle by Kate Kleiss is perfect if you like mysteries, stories about friendship, and happy endings. Doug Abbey 
Josh, and Luna are all bugs. But more importantly, they are members of the Bug Scouts. It's kind of like the Boy Scouts or the Girl Scouts, but just for bugs. They love going out on hikes, hanging out in their top secret treehouse, and earning new bug badges. And of course, they have a wild amount of fun along the way. Well, maybe not everybody thinks their adventures are fun. Josh, their spider friend, only joined the Bug Scouts for the free snacks. And unfortunately for Josh, there are over 238 bug badges in the official Bug Scouts handbook. And the whole gang is determined to add a new badge to their scout uniforms. Can they earn their foraging for plants badge without running into trouble with gulp, any sneaky predators? You better put on your scout gear and find out for yourself. This graphic novel is perfect for readers who love funny adventure stories like Bug Boys or The Investigators. Check out Bug Scouts Out in the Wild by Mike Lowry. Did you know Floating in the Pacific Ocean is a garbage patch that is twice the size of Texas? Mostly made up of plastic that will last for thousands of years? These plastics in the ocean are harmful to sea creatures who live there and even make their way into our food. Ugh. When artist Angela Hasseltine Potsy found plastic trash polluting the beach near her home, she started an organization called Wash to Shore. This group started gathering that plastic trash from beaches and turned it into epic plastic animal sculptures. Author Kelly Kroll was so amazed by these sculptures, she photographed them and put them in her book, Wash to Shore. This book is a fun mix of animal facts, I spy, and tips on how to help the environment. You'll be inspired to make your own fantastic sea creatures from what used to be trash after reading this book. How long do you think it would take to travel around the world? In your lifetime, it would take about 45 hours to fly around the world. But back in the 1800s, people could only imagine how long it would take to travel by carriage and train and boat all around the world. There is even a book by Jules Verne called Around the World in 80 Days about that fictional journey. Nellie Bly was a female reporter for the New York World and she would do anything for a good story. Inspired by the novel, Nellie came up with a daredevil idea to travel around the globe, but she would complete her journey in just 75 days. When the editor of Cosmopolitan Magazine found out about Nellie's idea, he decided to send his own journalist, Elizabeth Bisland, on the same journey, but in the opposite direction. See for yourself as Nellie and Elizabeth defy the expectations about women in the 19th century. Follow their race against time and each other through quotes, drawings, and photographs in this adventure-filled biography by Kate Hannigan. Nellie versus Elizabeth, two daredevil journalists breakneck race around the world.